Yeah. Seven more weeks until Terry McDonald wraps up 40 years of service in New Haven City Government. Yeah, the longtime mayor is retiring at the end of the year. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer now with a look back at a career that stretches beyond the four walls of the mayor's office. As I filter through my files and my desk and sorting and filing and recycling and things, it's becoming quite real. December 31st and the end of his time running New Haven City Government may not be far away, but the road to get here has been long and winding. McDonald started with New Haven in November 1979 as a shift medic. A few years later, he joined the city police force. Then in 1999, he was talked into a run for mayor. His 20 years in charge has seen the city population grow to nearly 16,000 people. He's championed economic development, landing new factories like Continental Diamond Tool and Multimatic, and seeing the world headquarters of the Do It Best Corporation stay put and thrive. Nicole Westendorf remembers meeting McDonald about four years ago when she launched Niche Market Furniture. He was the first person to sit down with me and talk to me about my, what my vision was for this business, and he really has been a great advocate for new people coming into the town of New Haven. One of the challenges Mayor McDonald may not have completely conquered is figuring out a way to work around the railroad downtown. Railroad tracks run right through the middle of town, and this routinely brings traffic to a screeching halt. McDonald says the conclusion after exploring the idea of a project to beat the trains. Just not economically feasible nor practical, you know, to, to have a, a railroad underpass in downtown New Haven would have wiped out downtown businesses. And you just can't do that. He knows after 20 years on the job, he has critics, but he believes he's carried out his duty the right way. It's really easy to get elected if you don't do anything. Don't raise taxes. Don't you know, do just enough to, to make people happy and think you're doing something. That's not my style. McDonald will hand the baton to Republican Steve McMichael, believing that it's time for new blood in leading a city that's been his passion and livelihood for 40 years. Jeff Newmeyer, Fort Wayne's NBC. Well, in addition to his service with the city of New Haven, McDonald has served as pastor for two small church congregations in his adult life.